We are looking to bring data into journalism. Uh, sports is filled with numbers, and uh, it's a way for us to go a little bit deeper into what's happening in all sports, hockey, basketball, football, baseball, even sports at the college level. So it's uh, just a way to, to bring a little bit of math into some of the game recaps that are already happening around us. I look to get at what's really happening in sports. Um, it's very easy to have your eyes deceive you, and it's also difficult to remember every shot on goal, every pass attempt by a quarterback, every swing of the bat. So the numbers allow me to take a step back, look a little bit deeper into what's happening, and, and get to what's the true performance level of a team or a player, and what that means for the future or even in historical context. We look to join the conversations that are already happening. Um, sports conversations are happening at work, during lunch, on Twitter, on other social media. So we're just looking to augment that and, and just be a part of that conversation. I recently wrote about Jose Lobaton, who's the uh, Washington Nationals catcher. They acquired him in the offseason for what the front office says was his pitch framing ability. And when I looked at the numbers, I found out that he was actually one of the worst catchers in the league in terms of pitch framing and has gotten progressively worse each and every season <laughs> leading up to his, um, his Nats debut. So it was illuminating for me and hopefully for the readers to see that the front office can say one thing, you can maybe think you're seeing something, but the numbers will tell you something completely different. I hope readers take away that the blog is not just for stat geeks or, or people that just like math. It's a way to learn a little bit more about the game, come away with something that perhaps you didn't already know before, and to just look at the game a little bit differently with a lot of the available technology that we have.